Breast cancer has touched someone I love, my grandmother Emily, and chances are it's touched someone you love as well. In fact, this year alone, more than 260,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. One in eight of us will be diagnosed at some point in our lifetime. And that's why early detection is so important. It's a message that is personal to Mrs. North Carolina, Phaedra Pistoni, a two time breast cancer survivor. I was uh, 39. I wasn't even of age to get a, go get a mammogram. Phaedra Pistoni of Mooresville had no family history of breast cancer. But three years ago, she found a lump during a self exam. It was cancer. The two main things that came to mind were am I going to die? And will I lose my hair? Pistoni competes in beauty pageants where contestants are judged on appearances. The idea of losing her hair and her passion was difficult to grasp. Letting cancer take that for me, as well as putting this damper on my life, was hard for me. Pistoni chose a lumpectomy instead of chemotherapy. She continued competing and late last year was crowned Mrs. North Carolina. This spring, as she prepared for the Mrs. America pageant, Pistoni learned her cancer returned. Honestly, did not. Ever think that it would be back. And I was like, you know what? I am not letting cancer take that from me. She made the difficult choice to have a bilateral mastectomy. To know that a lot of your womanhood, per se, is going to be taken away, that's hard. She had surgery in May, and in August, Pistoni competed in the Mrs. America pageant with tissue expanders. Once I got there and walked across that stage, Pistoni made it into the top six where she had to answer a question from the judges. What do you want the judges to know about you? Okay. And I was so proud to be able to say a couple months ago, I didn't know if I was going to be here and was able to tell, you know, I'm only here because of early detection with a mammogram. A message Pistoni feels she was meant to deliver. There's a reason why I'm still here. I'm not letting that take it. I'm not letting cancer take that from me. Strong woman speaking mm -hmm. out and saving lives. Pistoni is now the honorary survivor chair and speaker for this year's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. It's tomorrow morning, and I'm so proud to again be the MC back this year. Money raised helps fund breast cancer research and provide patient services like free rides to therapy and free places to stay near where they're getting treatment. The registration starts at 8 a.m. tomorrow at the Avid Exchange Music Factory, and the walk starts at 9 30.